Hey, Anissa Koy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video call up. And this week, our question came in to me via email and from Shirley. So Shirley says, hi, Anissa. My art studio was affected by a fire bomb in our building, the Winter Street Studios Arson in Houston. And I've tried cleaning the oil paintings with soot sponges and Zep, only on the edges. They still smell terribly. I've taken them out of the studio and intend to vacuum them with a HEPA filter handheld vacuum and sponge them again. I am feeling like this is a futile effort. What do you suggest? I've gotten rid of most furniture except the metal things and moved into a different building. My paintings are sitting in the garage of my home. Thank you for any advice that you can give me. Well, first off, Shirley, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. I know that there were a lot of businesses that were affected, not only in your state, but in our state, in Seattle, in Portland area with fire bombing. And so even though there wasn't me the actual damage physically done, to their buildings, there's a lot of smoke. And so it did a lot of damage to items. And I can only imagine with your paintings where that's at. So I don't know how many paintings that you do have or whether or not they're framed. So I'm just going to answer your question, assuming that they are framed. So obviously the first thing that we would do in this scenario is a HEPA vac. And I mean, a very slow, gentle HEPA vacuuming of all of the canvases, front, back, all the nooks and crannies. I would even take them apart if you can to get them out of the frames and then HEPA vacuum the frames. If the frames have a finish on them and they're not raw wood, then maybe what you could also do is a, is like a wet cleaning where you could maybe take a you know hot soapy water with Dawn dish soap with some 99 added into it to deodorize and wipe that down. The other thing is going to be to then use the dry cleaning sponge. Um, it really is magical. And if you've done those processes the, the and you're still having odor, then there's a couple of things that I would say. One is you've got to do these processes like with the most absolute minute detail possible. Like you've got to touch every nook and cranny to make sure that you don't leave any soot contamination behind because if you do leave any of those tiny molecules you'll just get odor back in again um the other thing is which i know i've already been emailing with you and um such but i wanted to let you know on the video and for all the audience watching that definitely using hydroxyl is huge you had mentioned using ozone i do not recommend that you use ozone on paintings with the acrylics and whatnot, it can really react badly. So I do not recommend that at all as they can damage, uh, ozone can damage the paintings, but I do highly recommend uh, hydroxyl. And the particular hydroxyl machine, the only one that I have found to work and work very well has been the Odorox hydroxyl machine. It's just an incredible machine. machine. Like I've gotten odor out of just about anything with these. So after going back through and rehab a vacuuming in great detail and very, very carefully using your dry cleaning sponge and maybe wet wiping off the, you, you know, your um, frames of the paintings, then I would absolutely hydroxyl with the Odorox machine, your paintings. And you could do that like in your garage, you could do it on, um, which I'd be careful about because sometimes garages have odors themselves, right? From chemicals and whatnot. So maybe putting it like in a bedroom of your house or in a room that you could leave it set up and running for like a day or two um, would be really, really good. And I think that would probably take care of your problem, hopefully. All right. Well, I really hope, Shirley, that that answered your question. Great. Uh, I really appreciate when I get emails and ask Anissa questions from homeowners, because I understand you're not in the industry, you're a business owner that was just affected by our industry, <laughs> sort of. And uh, so I really appreciate that. I appreciate that you uh, also let me know that my videos really, really helped you and give you some education on the process. All right. Well, guys, be super cool and head on over to rnrmegonline.com and be sure that you are subscribed so that uh, you get the e-newsletter in your email inbox every Friday along with the Ask Anissa videos. And be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel at Firehouse Education. And if you send me a question that you have to Anissa at firehouseeducation.com, I just might feature you on next week's Ask Anissa video call. -up.